The year is coming to a close, but there are still a few things we already know are coming to Valorant in 2024, as well as to start us off in 2025. There's probably a ton of other things that aren't even announced yet, but I just wanted to make a video on the things that we already know and essentially summarize what you can expect over the next month or two in Valorant. So that's some of the skin bundles and capsules coming to the store, upcoming patches like the one containing neon nerfs, what's happening with the next night market, and even what we have so far on Valorant's next agent. I'll go over all those things in chronological order. So the first thing you actually have to keep an eye out for is the Tactic Force capsule. This is going to be a relatively small and cheap bundle, only containing five player cards, five gun buddies, and a spray. So it's a little unprecedented, honestly, not too sure how much it's actually going to cost, but it's all in the files and ready to release, so it should come out either tomorrow or around the 5th of December instead. The next piece of content to keep an eye out for is patch 9.11, which is locked in and confirmed for the 10th of December. The only thing we know for sure we are getting in that update is nerfs slash changes to Neon, with one of the devs saying that they are working on some adjustments to balance out the parts that make Neon feel overpowered while maintaining her grounded movement combat fantasy. She isn't the only outstanding agent though, as apparently there are changes to Deadlock and Harbor on the horizon. Although we do know that specifically for Harbor, he isn't set to get any changes this year, as the devs want to take their time with him and get the fixes right, like what they did with Phoenix and why he took a while to receive some updates. From that post on screen there, I almost expect we'll see a few more agent tweaks in patch 9.11 other than just Neon nerfs, but we will have to wait and see the patch notes for that one, which again will be coming on December 10th. Shortly after that, on December 12th, a free event pass will be going live in-game. It'll last until the 7th of January and contain 20 rating out points, the different title, the ZZZ title, and those three player cards that you can see on screen. All those rewards will be completely free, and you'll just pretty quickly unlock them by earning XP, similar to a battle pass. Around the same time that event pass starts, we will be getting a new skin bundle, which is rumored to be Araxis 2.0, so whenever the store resets for you on either the 12th or 13th of December is when that bundle will be releasing. Again, according to leaks, this is going to be Araxis 2.0. We still haven't heard anything official, but all signs point towards this bundle containing a Phantom and a Guardian, then the knife skin and two other guns are currently unknown. Just like the original bundle, this one would be exclusive tier, meaning the entire thing would cost 8,700 Valorant points to purchase. Now, I've been seeing more and more comments about the next night market, and we should be receiving one sometime between patch 9.11 and patch 10. I will just add a little disclaimer and say that there is technically no official announcement right now, and there might not be one, but for the last 24 acts in a row, there has been a night market in every single one, and I don't see any reason for that to change now. So with that in mind, the next night market will most likely start on the 12th of December, if not that, it should be the 19th, again, unless for whatever reason, right decide now is the time to slow down on night markets. After all that, the next major thing we have to look forward to will be in patch 10, which should be going live around the 7th of January. We already know one major change will be taking place then to the map pool, as they tweeted the other day both Fracture and Lotus will return, with Ascent and Sunset rotating out. From that act onwards, we can also expect more frequent map pool updates, with the pool changing every act. Patch 10 will of course also be the start of an entirely new episode in early January, so not only does that mean a whole new battle pass and whatnot, but that also means a hard reset of ranks, so the highest you can place is Ascendant 1, unless of course Riot change anything in regards to the rank reset. Now finally that brings us to Valorant's next agents. There's currently not much to go off of, but we can still speculate. I'll get to the release date or more so release window shortly, but first everything else, this player card in the current battle pass called Striking Distance should be a teaser for the next agent. The color theme and overall look immediately makes me think of Wasp from Marvel, and we can assume our new agent will be mostly clad in black and yellow, maybe even be themed as some community theories have pointed out. In terms of this agent's role, it is most likely there will be an initiator, although that is not 100% confirmed, it's just the most likely based on recent releases, Technically, this agent could be anything. When it comes to the release date, pretty consistently, all of the recent agent releases have been in a four to five month window after one another. Vice will be four months old by the time we're done with December, so we are primed for a new agent release sometime in January. Again, especially considering, like I said earlier, we have a major update with episode 10 landing around the 7th of January. Having said all that, we currently have very few teasers or anything, and by now we'd normally have some more things in game like emails or voicemails. So there is also a chance that agent release will be a little later on, and another noteworthy date is that Masters Bangkok takes place towards the end of February. We know Riot love to show off new releases during the Grand Finals for stuff like that, so I wouldn't be shocked if the agent releases all the way then instead to coincide with that. Either way, whenever we get new teasers or anything in regards to the new agent, I'll of course make new videos covering everything, so make sure to subscribe for that if you haven't already. Otherwise, that basically sums up everything you can expect to release in Valorant over the next month or two.